Hello friends, welcome back to Chicken Run Creations and we are working on our dragon painting based on this picture that my daughter drew. So last time we added the detail around the eyes and some of the other details and we're just going to continue on with um, doing some outlining, doing some detail work. I did go through off camera and kind of stabbed some of the background down a little bit more. It's kind of thin in some areas, so I think I'm going to have to add some more. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to um, continue working through the detail part of it and um, probably won't be much to say. I'll just kind of put some music on and fast forward it a little bit. Um, I did kind of bow out the eye a little bit in the last video. I don't know if you saw that or not. Um, but it's coming along. So we're just going to pop on some music and I'm going to grab my wool and continue to um, add some details to kind of make it all pop together. So we will see you probably towards the end and see how far we get. I'm kind of hoping I might... I might actually fast forward this more than what I have been doing just to kind of finish it up. So we'll see how long this takes. So enjoy.
Okay, I think we are about done. Put my picture up here. So, I mean, I messed up on a few spots, but I think that's mostly due to the tracing. Like, this area should be bigger in here. Um, and this should be a little bit bigger, but it's always hard when you're tracing to get it right. I think I need to shoulder here is a little bit more rounded so i might do some touch-ups on it um but um overall um, i'm pretty happy with it hopefully my daughter will be happy with it oh let me see if i can grab a frame so i mentioned last time i had gotten frames well mats anyway from a 4 each sale. I just want to kind of see what this is going to look like framed. I'll probably have to extend it out a little bit. Yeah, because this one might be actually, I might have some that are a little bit smaller opening. In fact, I think I do. But anyway, so yeah, an interesting project taking a drawing and turning it into a needle felted painting i'll probably touch it up a little bit more um if i think of it in an upcoming video i will um, once i get it framed and everything i'll post a picture of it so you can see it completed but i'm pretty happy with it i think it looks pretty good um other than my mistakes here and there but anyway, so yeah, so I'm, I was kind of resistant to do paintings when I first started needle felting. And I think the first thing that I did was like a, oh, just a scenery thing. And I did it on pre-felt, which come to find out really doesn't work well with um, needle felting because it kind of warps distorts the image a little bit so I really like using the linen and using the um, interfacing to trace it onto so um, but yeah so I think I th I hope she'll like it and I have a couple other ideas for a few other paintings that I might do in the future I think the next video I do will be another 3d well I'm not sure what yet but we'll figure that out. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed following along as I made my daughter's dragon into a needle felted painting. And we will see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching.